This is our first time cruising with Virgin Voyages. Hopefully we're going. <laughs> You're so out of breath. It's because we climbed all the stairs to get up uh -huh. there. Here we go. Okay. All right. First impressions. Our room is very cool. I love that the wristband <clears throat> opens the door. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. Did you notice how that opened when we walked in? No. It opened up? Yeah. So the curtains opened up. We have the room that is called the Sea Terrace. We have a balcony, which I am super excited to check out. Queen size bed. Have our TV right here. Did you got a bathroom? Yeah. This is a very like hip looking room. Really nice shower for a cruise. Like yeah. really nice. This is great. And we have closet right here. Plenty of hangers. I was really hoping that we would have hangers. People who are interested can see the chores. Cool. Yeah, very bins down there too. Very colorful. Like we got is. colorful <laughs> mirror. The curtains are colorful. I like that red light. The oh, lighting's nice. awesome. All the in bed. Red to blue mm -hmm. curtains. What accent. Very cool. nice. I'm like really impressed. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see this before but a full length mirror especially for us ladies is so necessary on vacation. <laughs> We just checked out our beautiful room and now we are going to head around the ship, explore, and see what we can find. almost to the top deck of the ship now and there's a bunch of different places to lay out where you can have gorgeous views of the city and then once we're sailing you'll have beautiful views of the ocean. It's so fun getting to explore a ship that you've never been on before because everything is a surprise. This is our first time cruising with Virgin Voyages, so it's pretty cool to see everything. This looks like the main pool area, but they have a lot of padded areas to lay out, which is really nice. The specific ship that we're on is called Scarlet Lady. So far, just walking around, this is a very beautiful ship. I love the red and white decor. It's very sailor-like, and it just gives the whole ship like a really interesting and fun aesthetic and vibe. This is cool. On the very top deck, they have a red running track. As we keep exploring the ship, we found the gym, and I'm actually really impressed with the amount of equipment that they have in here. Before dinner, we did want to come somewhere to grab a quick bite to eat, so we came to this area of the ship that is called the galley, and you scan this little card on your phone to get the menu, and they have a bunch of different food options here, so there's like Mexican place, there was a noodle place, and different things that you can get to eat. I feel like I'm going to spend a lot of time in this hammock. This is such a cool feature to have on the balcony, but right now it is currently 5.30 p.m. So we are half an hour. Oh, I just heard a chime. We're half an hour away. Ah. Are mandatory. Okay, yeah, the announcement stopped. So what I was saying was we are about half an hour away from Sail Away, but something that is pretty cool is Eric and I were given VIP access to Richard's rooftop. So we're gonna go do that for Sail Away. Located at the front of the ship on deck 16, you can find Richard's rooftop, which is an elegant and exclusive deck reserved for passengers with rockstar status. 
The rooftop is filled with panoramic ocean views as well as plenty of beds to lay out on for ultimate relaxation. But that's not all. There are even private hot tubs. For Sail Away, we enjoyed sipping on our champagne and pina coladas from the bar while admiring the city views of Miami slowly disappear as we drifted off to sea and began our voyage. We just left Richard's rooftop, so tall. <laughs> we just left Richard's roof, rooftop and now we are heading to Pink Agave for dinner. Virgin Voyages has ditched buffets and large dining halls that you typically see on cruises and instead hosts 20 different eateries varying in all types of food across the ship. Tonight we ate at Pink Agave, which while being delicious, our experience at this restaurant also immersed us in Mexican cuisine. ship right now just relaxing and listening to the waves while we sail away. Lighting on this cruise ship is not like any other. Like you can see the like iridescent lights and then it's like a red glow of the ship. Like this is sweet. Tomorrow we have a full day at sea before we port the next day so we're just gonna hang out here and see you tomorrow morning for a full day at sea. Good morning, everybody. It is a gorgeous day out at sea. I actually woke up pretty early this morning and I finished my book laying in this hammock, listening to the sounds of the ocean and it was just so peaceful. We are heading to breakfast and one thing Eric and I decided was that unless if I'm in heels and like formal wear, we're gonna take the stairs everywhere we go here on the cruise so we can get in a little bit of a workout while, you know, eating everything that we want. <laughs> slow and relaxing day which honestly I feel like that's exactly what we needed but anyways after we had breakfast we went and got coffee well I got a cappuccino and Eric got a hot chocolate we got our drinks from this place called the grounds club one thing I should mention about virgin voyages is that when you book your ticket it includes all of the basic meals like all of the restaurants and beverages but it doesn't include specialty beverages like alcohol and specialty coffee like how I had a cappuccino rather than just regular coffee at breakfast so that is a bit of an extra charge and what you can do is you can preload your account before you get onto the ship it's called sailor loot and that will be within your virgin voyages app and then you can use your wristband which will store all of your payment information and stuff like that when you are purchasing things so when I bought my coffee and when I've gotten a few other things on the ship I just scan this band and it's all good another thing that you all might have noticed is with my band Eric and I are wearing these splash of romance wristbands as well and it's an extra package that you can add on to your cruise with your significant other and there's certain perks that you get throughout your voyage for example this morning and every day you get different pressed juices and you get aphrodisiac and romantic treats that they'll deliver to you I think it's day three and day four and then we also get a three hour pass to the spa which we're gonna do in a few days there's just different little perks that you get with that edition I have actually found the shopping and different stores on this cruise ship to be very interesting and we did check out some of them last night but they were closed they're open now so I wanted to take you all with me to give you a tour of the different shopping and stores that are on the Scarlet Lady ship the Scarlet Lady offers some very unique shopping and onboard activities you can book an appointment to get your hair or makeup done or if you're feeling bold you can even get a tattoo done on this ship I definitely had to check out the gift shop and get myself a souvenir. After I went shopping, Eric and I decided to go to our favorite spot on the back of the ship and grab some lunch.
after lunch we came back to our room for a little bit I left my sunglasses inside that's why I'm squinting because the Sun is in my eyes but anyways it just feels so good to sit out here on our balcony but we did pick up a little bit of dessert and we are just going to hang out here for about another hour and then we're gonna go back to Richard's rooftop for happy hour and just to hang out there until it's time for dinner this is one of the things that I love about cruising is you can truly make your itinerary exactly what you want it to be if you want to go to the pool and dance and party and drink you can totally do that but if you're more chill and relaxed like Eric and I you can totally do that too it can truly be whatever type of vacation you want did not spend a whole lot of time at Richard's rooftop today for happy hour because it was so windy at the front of the ship but we did just come home come home we came back to our room I mean I guess this is our home for five days but anyways we came back to our room and got ready for dinner we are eating at the restaurant razzle dazzle tonight which is Virgin Voyages signature restaurant I think it's going to be an awesome experience and should be a lot of fun for dinner tonight I am wearing this blue dress that I actually actually got from Amazon and I think we're ready to go. As I mentioned earlier, Razzle Dazzle is Virgin Voyage's signature restaurant, which was filled with a surprising and creative menu. You could choose food that was deemed naughty or nice. One side of the menu skews toward plant-based and vegetarian meals, or you could order from the more indulgent side, which includes meats and sweets. Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. Whether you are subscribed to my channel or not, it means the world having you here with me. Before we start to close out this vlog, I do want to give some of my first impressions of our voyage so far. I found our sea terrace room to be not only very pretty, but very spacious as well. I love the hammock on the balcony. Even just having that there made me want to spend more time enjoying the balcony as a whole. The light throughout the ship was also very eye-catching and gave you this feeling of luxury while we sailed. I mean, even one of the public bathrooms had gorgeous lighting and views of the sea. We have really enjoyed eating at two different restaurants so far rather than a single large dining hall for dinner because each night we feel like we're getting an elevated dining experience and date night without having to pay an additional upcharge for it. The Scarlet Lady ship itself is beautiful and we cannot wait to continue our cruise over the next few days. I also really want to thank Virgin Voyages for partnering with me and inviting us on this beautiful cruise. We are having a blast. However, However, the cruise videos do not stop here. This is a cruise series, so this will be video one of three. So make sure that you stay tuned for parts two and three. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you in future videos. I hope you all are having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye.